Panchasila as a philosophical system. Panchasila as a philosophical system. Panchasila as a philosophical system can be interpreted as the result of Indonesian people thinking deeply, systematically, and comprehensively about reality. So, as a philosophical system, Panchasila means critical and rational reflection as the basis of the state and the reality of national culture with the aim of obtaining basic and comprehensive points of understanding. The discussion regarding Panchasila as a philosophical system can be carried out deductively and inductively, as explained by Unicom lecturer Sylvia Optoputri in Panchasila as a philosophical system, 2017. The deductive method means searching for the essence of Panchasila and analysing and compiling it systematically into a comprehensive, comprehensive view. The inductive method means observing the social and cultural phenomena of society, reflecting on them, and drawing the essential meaning and meaning from these symptoms. Through these methods, the Panchasila philosophy as a result of reflection provides scientific knowledge and understanding namely about the essence of Panchasila. This is explained by Notto Nagaro in the Panchasila module as a philosophical system composed by Rodoni Teta Uliati Month. In other words, Panchasila as a philosophy contains views, values and thoughts which can become the substance and content of the formation of the Panchasila ideology. Basically, the subjects or supporters of the contents of the Panchasila principles are Indonesian people as humans. Ali Mudho Fear in a journal entitled Panchasila as a Philosophical System, 1996, explains that humans here refer to humans who consist of a number of absolute elements, in which all these elements occupy and carry out their functions absolutely. This means that its function cannot be replaced by other elements. The core content of each Panchasila principle itself is an incarnation or realization that is in accordance with the elements of human nature, so that each principle occupies a position and carries out its function absolutely in the unified structure of Panchasila. Furthermore, the Panchasila philosophy as a result of thought can also be interpreted as a guide to daily life. Way of Life or Veltan Shaung. Panchasila is a reflection of the views of the Indonesian people in facing reality. Through its five precepts, namely, 1. Belief in the Almighty Godhead. 2. Just and civilized humanity. 3. Indonesian unity. 4. Democracy led by wisdom in deliberation slash representation. And 5. Social justice for all Indonesian people, Panchasila as a philosophical system reflects the nation's views, with the core teachings of each principle as follows, 1. God, namely as the prime cause. 2. Humans, namely individual creatures and social creatures. 3. 1. Namely a unit that has its own personality. 4. The people, namely the absolute element of the state which upholds the values of cooperation and mutual cooperation. 5. Fairness, namely giving justice to oneself and others according to their rights Mayanabedi, Danki Dilan Sojal. Based on this, the teachings in Panchasila include philosophical insights which include the fields or aspects of ontology, existence, epistemology, knowledge, and axiology, values. The function of Panchasila as a philosophical system. Panchasila as the foundation of the state. Panchasila serves as the foundation of the state used to govern and administer the country. 
Pancasila as the foundation of the Indonesian state is also stated in the preamble of the 1945 constitution, in the fourth paragraph, and is a constitutional basis. Pancasila also serves as a legal source, national foundation, and all legislation must be based on Pancasila. Pancasila as the life philosophy of the Indonesian nation. The contents of Pancasila must be practiced in daily life and actions of the people of the unitary state of the Republic of Indonesia, wherein the practices contained in Pancasila must be imbued and emanate from all the principles of Pancasila. 2. Pancasila as the soul of the Indonesian nation. Pancasila also serves as a driving force and guiding principle for the Indonesian society in realizing the Pancasila society. Turi von Seveni explains that every nation has its own soul, known as Volksgeist, the spirit of the people slash national spirit. 3. Pancasila as a noble covenant. Pancasila is the foundation of the state agreed upon by representatives of the Indonesian people from all over Indonesia. 4. Pancasila as the nation's character. As the nation's character, Pancasila also plays a role in distinguishing Indonesia from other nations, with differences manifested in the mental attitudes, behaviors, and actions of the Indonesian people. 5. Pancasila as the moral foundation of development. The noble values of Pancasila are used as benchmarks in carrying out national development, whether in planning, organizing, implementing, monitoring, or evaluating processes. Philosophical systems according to experts. The definition of a philosophical system according to Titus, Smith and Nolan is as follows. 1. Philosophy is a collection of attitudes and beliefs about life and nature that are typically accepted uncritically. 2. Philosophy is a process of critical thinking or reflection on deeply held beliefs and attitudes. 3. Philosophy is an endeavour to attain a comprehensive understanding. Philosophy is the logical analysis of language and explanations of the meanings of words and concepts. 4. Philosophy is a collection of problems that are of immediate concern to humans and are sought to be answered by philosophers.